Welcome back to the TLC Perfect Pond channel. Today we're back out at this eight acre pond that we're completely redoing, kind of starting from scratch. I've already had a couple videos on this project. The first video, we showed us draining and collecting all the fish that were left in the pond. The second video, we were showing how the heavy equipment guys were kind of redoing the pond structurally as far as digging it out, making the banks a little more steep so we didn't have as many vegetation issues. In that second video, those heavy equipment guys also pushed down a few trees and added some cover out there in the middle of the pond. So not much has changed since the last time we were out here at this project pond. We've got some grass growing up over there where there's still a little bit of water left in the pond. But here you can see those trees that were placed in the pond for cover last time. There's also some concrete out there that was piled up, but we got the guy on the excavator to kind of lay those in a linear row to provide some better cover. So today what we're going to be doing is adding some more cover to this pond, but we're going to be adding some artificial cover today. We have a few kits that we're going to be assembling and putting out in this pond here, which should provide some additional cover and habitat for the forage species of those big bass that we're going to be trying to grow. So here's the artificial habitats that we're going to be putting in the pond today. These are from a company called Mossback Fish Habitats. And we got a bundle here. I think this is called the shallow water bundle. So it has several different pieces on it. We'll show you guys each of those pieces. The cinder blocks did not come with the kit, but what does come with it are basically these pipes with the little slits in it so you can slide these kind of rails in there. You've got these anchors right here. So we've got three different types of pipes or three different types of designs in this shallow water bundle here. So right now we're just inserting these rails into the pipe there. This particular piece right here is called a trophy tree laydown. So it's the biggest pipe of all the ones we have here. And while the others are supposed to stand up, these are gonna kind of lay down on the bottom of the pond. So it'll lay down like that and kind of spider out. So this is the Trophy Tree XL Laydown assembled here. And you really need a rubber mallet or something other to put these slats in there. You gotta be careful. Got my hand, these things are kind of prickly on the end here. Now on Mossback's website, they have this thing oriented the other way. So kind of the short ends of the sticks laying on the ground. But I think we're gonna do one this way and then do one with it kind of flipped over just for comparison's sake. So to hold this thing down, it comes with these chains right here. So we'll wrap the chains around the top there and kind of um, you know, hold it down with a cinder block. That way it won't go anywhere. So we got the other Trophy Tree XL lay down put together here. And this is how it looks on Mossback's website. So we're gonna lay one like this with the long end sticking up and then one like this, like we showed you earlier with the long end sticking down. So this piece that Jody's putting together here is called the safe haven. This is supposedly for prey. And these little V-shaped slats here, according to their website, the reason they're shaped like this is so they'll collect sediment and stuff will grow on these trees. So we've almost got them all put together now. So that's the safe haven over there. These are the trophy tree lay down excels and then these here are the trophy trees so the trophy trees and the safe haven over there will stand upright and be anchored with the cinder blocks these here the lay downs will lay down like you see so the safe haven is designed to be a cover for prey that's why it has more sticks sticking out of it these other ones the trophy trees the lay down XL and the standard trophy trees are supposed to actually provide habitat for predators for ambushing prey. So your big predator fish, your big bass can get in here. That's why the sticks are further apart and get in here and kind of ambush prey. So one more thing on these trophy tree XL lay downs here. These normally come with 60 inch arms, which are designed for ponds that are seven foot deep or deeper. But we got these customized for this pond 
which I don't think is going to be seven foot deep in many spots. So these actually have 46 inch arms on them, I believe, because we're probably going to have an average depth of five feet in this pond. So we got this particular setup here, these two customized for our depth in this pond. So according to the Mossback website, we need to put all these structures in this bundle in a specific configuration. And I'll try to throw that image up on the screen right here. So we put the safe haven in the middle and then we put all the trophy trees kind of around it. So we picked out a spot here that's kind of nice and flat. We think it'll be good to put this and also a spot that we can easily kind of mark and identify. So when we do fill this pond up, stock it, and we start shocking it or surveying it on a regular basis, we can kind of know where that structure is and see how many fish are using that structure. So we've chosen this spot right here because it's nice and flat and because we don't have to haul these cinder blocks too far through this mud and being right here at the corner of the pond, we can easily remember where it is. Just a side note while we're out here looking, we do have some nice undulations of structure that weren't necessarily intentional, but just from all the heavy equipment being out here, we do have some nice little holes and ridges out there that should provide some good spawning habitat. So we're going in with our safe haven first here. We've got our cinder block anchor down there and this just slides on top of it. And now we just have to kind of screw it in the bottom here so it doesn't go anywhere. And Jody's going to do the honors. Got some self-tapping screws there. So how many screws go in the base there? Three screws into each base to hold it down good. So we'll show you how you put this base together here. So your box slides on top of that piece of pipe there. And you have that kind of little bushing there. And then the structure slides on top of that. Just like that. Jody's over here making cow noises. <laughs> So based on the recommendations, we need to kind of form a Y with these trophy trees three to six feet out from the safe haven here. So we'll kind of go in a diagonal, put one trophy tree there, another diagonal, put one trophy tree there, and then one six feet directly behind it here, kind of where I'm standing. So now we'll just put the screws into this one, secure it into place. So now we're getting our second trophy tree set up here to kind of form this Y. Now we didn't measure this off and triangulate it perfectly. We got it pretty close. Just trying to make sure we get it six feet from that safe haven there. Ta-da. Ta-da. So now you can kind of see the Y starting to take place. So John's putting that other trophy tree back there. So we make a Y with the trophy trees and the safe haven in the middle. Now John's bringing the lay down trophy tree XLs out here. And so according to the diagram, these are supposed to go kind of one right here on this side of the configuration and another one right here. So to get these to stay in place a little bit better, we're going to kind of hammer them down into the soil a little bit there. We'll anchor them with these cinder blocks as well, but this will kind of help to further stabilize them. And we've got our other lay down here oriented the other direction so john's getting the chain set up now wrapping around that cinder block that's going to hold this puppy in place so it's got a carabiner on it that hooks back to that chain you get it nice and tight now for the second lay down here we'll just run that cable through the cinder block around the base there one more time and then connect them together so here's the complete layout of the setup for that shallow water bundle. Actually looks pretty cool once we've got it all set up. So we've got the safe haven in the middle there. It's gonna provide cover for the prey. And then the predators can kind of hang out on the outside here, underneath there, or in and amongst these trophy trees here. And that's where they can kind of hang out and do their ambushing. And so we've got a nice reference point there to kind of remember where this thing is. We'll mark it with the GPS on our phones as well. We've got the dock right there 
and then we're about 50 feet away from that bank right there all right so we got that artificial structure in place on that previous video we put those trees in the pond hopefully they don't float by the time this thing fills up with water the next thing we need to do while we're out here today is to fix the drain on this pond or to actually put the drain in place it's open right now and any water any substantial water that's collecting on that end is flowing through to a pond behind this one so we're going to plug that drain that way all the rainwater we're getting will stay in here and we can also start filling this thing up with the well that's on the other side of the pond so here's the drain right here and this pipe runs underground to another pond back on the other side of that dam and what we're doing right now is closing that so we don't lose any water out of here and we get rain it stays in this pond so hopefully we can get this thing filled with water pretty soon they've been doing some work on the pump over there that's going to fill the majority of this pond as is with most construction projects things don't always go as scheduled ideally we would have already liked to have stocked our sunfish in this pond being that it is mid-april and pretty warm down here in south georgia but things don't always go as planned hopefully we can get some water in here pretty soon get some sunfish stocked in here so they can spawn several times before we stock the bass in the fall and ideally that's how we like to stock a pond when we're starting new like this stock the bluegill in the spring let them spawn several times and then stock the bass in the fall the bass we're going to be putting in here are called titan bass and they're really really heavy feeders so we definitely want to give time for that bluegill population to establish before we put those titan bass in here otherwise they'll put a dent in the population pretty quick so stay tuned for future videos on this project and if you're in the south georgia or north florida area and could benefit from our pond management services whether that be vegetation control population sampling fertilization fish stocking any of that you can go to our website tlcperfectpond.com there's a contact us form there fill that out we'll get back with you and schedule a time to talk about your pond as always don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and we'll see you next time